Welcome to a fresh new look and take on a classic fifth wheel floor plan, folks. This beauty right here is the 2023 Eddie Bauer Signature 310RL, and I think you're gonna love it. Okay, so the 310RL obviously isn't a brand new floor plan, right? This is something that has been around for years, but is a very popular floor plan for good reasons because it's just functional, it works, you're not getting too terribly long. I think this one's right around like 34 foot, something like that. Um, but again, you're at a good size. But what they did is, again, you get that Eddie Bauer signature that's built into everything in this RV, from your uh, hardware on your faucets, to your beautiful cabinetry, to the furniture, everything in here just kind of feels more residential than what we're used to seeing in the RV space. And personally, folks, I absolutely love it. Now, again, this floor plan itself has dual opposing slides here, which is what really helps to open this space up. and that allows you to have this center island right here in the kitchen. If we take a look at the campsite, freestanding table and chairs, I like this. I personally kind of like the top they chose here as well. Um, I think it has a good look to it rather than trying to like match the uh, countertops in the kitchen or something like that. And I definitely prefer this over a booth dinette in a couple's model. The other thing I really like is look underneath. It is legless. So you don't have to worry about you know banging into your banging your legs, your knees into the posts or anything like that. Super simple and easy. Again, big fan here. When it comes to windows, of course, you have those all the way around the slide as you would expect. Uh, roller shades on there, and what I love is that they got rid of the big chunky side things here, right? I think they call them lambrequins, I believe, but. Basically, those are gone. Just gives it a much cleaner look when the shades are down or when they're up. I also like the uh, the valances they have up top. I think that kind of the plaid, right, just kind of brings me back to the Eddie Bauer days, so I really like that as well. And then when we take a look at the furniture, it's clean, right? It's, it's a nice, bright, clean color. It's uh, kind of sophisticated, great, you know, for, for adults. Like, you don't have to worry about you know, getting it dirty, you're at that point in your life where you get to enjoy just having nice looking things, right? How many times have you heard that line, right? I know I did growing up, this is why we don't have nice things. Well, in the Eddie Bauer Signature Edition, now you can. And the theater seating is to die for, super comfortable. You have, of course, cup holders here, storage in the center, and a great shot right to the TV, exactly what you want. And paired with that is the sofa. This does pull out into a bed if you need some additional sleeping, if you want your guests to stay the night. And it has built-in end tables on both sides. One of the things I really like about it though, take a look at this, ready? Boom, look at that. You have hidden storage, which is kind of nice. Um, you know, again, it's, it's just kind of tucked away. People don't really know that it's there, but you do have that on both sides. Obviously, if the blinds are down, it contends with that a little bit, but that's easy to work around. I also want to point out the fact there's storage all the way across the top, and you have this two-tone wood look, right? I, I like what they did here because it kind of has a, a wood grain look to it, uh, but they did the same thing on the green, which we'll see in the kitchen. It's not, the wood grain doesn't come through quite as much, but it looks like kind of like a painted cabinet. So definitely uh, on point. I love it from a design standpoint. You see storage right up top here as well. Nice deep storage, magnetic catches. You have the champagne bronze pulls. Of course, the large TV front and center. Underneath is the multimedia center. And then in the very bottom is uh, the fireplace. It's a 5,000 B2 fireplace, so it does uh, put out a little bit of heat. Um, I'm sure you saw it, but it is worth mentioning in those end tables, there is an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports too for your iPad or whatever else you need. We get in then to the green cabinetry and it's kind of, again, that Eddie Bauer signature green. I love, love, love having this uh, kind of pop of color, right? It's not over the top. It looks classy. I think they did a great job. You have removable shelves, light right there up top that is motion sensor as well. And then uh, you have the glass uh, insert. Uh, real quick, I'll, I'll get to the kitchen in a second, but I do just want to bring some attention here. I really like what they did. You can see that you have, uh, you know, kind of that Eddie Bauer nameplate. I like the fronts here too. It's, again, it has a little bit of kind of modern design. It's not overly traditional like a lot of times we have with our slide boxes. So I uh, kind of give them a tip of the hat there. And then the kitchen island. Uh, I love the countertop, right? It's a pressed countertop, uh, which has a couple advantages. It's gonna be lighter than solid surface, but it still allows you to undermount the bowl like a solid surface, which is great. And they have a large stainless, a stainless steel undermount uh, sink here, and it does have the apron front on it. But I like 
the the pattern they chose for the countertops too. It actually reminds me a lot of what uh, I have at home. So I, I probably why I'm maybe slightly biased and enjoy it, but I think they did a great job. Uh, then the, the high rise faucet, how cool is that? They went two tone, which I love. I think it, again, it kind of pulls everything together. You have like your champagne bronze here and then you have the matte black. And so it just kind of pulls all of the, all the different features together, right? Like we have matte black knobs, we have our champagne bronze pulls. And I'll open this up just to kind of show you some of the storage, love this. Your dual trash cans pulls out, love, love, love when manufacturers do things like that. Still plenty of storage underneath the sink. You can see you have your slow close hinges here, and then you have the drawers, pull out drawers, three of those over on the other side, more storage, more countertop, pop-up power tower there as well. Of course, microwave up top, and then our three burner recessed cooktop right down below with more storage underneath that. We get into the fridge, we have a Furion 12 volt compressor driven refrigerator looking at 16 cubic foot of cold storage there, folks. So uh, you'll have your freezer here on the left, you have your refrigerator there on the right plenty of cold storage space here in the Eddie Bauer. And something that's a little bit different in this floor plan than some of the others that are out there, again, because as I mentioned, this is not a you know new or unique floor plan, but they did do a little bit of a twist. And that's it. A lot of them will have a pantry here. Eddie Bauer put the pantry over there to really give you a bigger kind of buffet or hutch space. And I think that is a great design choice. I personally really like having this uh, because again, you can use it for additional prep space. You can use it for, you know, a bar or, you know, if you just want to kind of decorate it, you can do that as well. You have the pop-up power tower if you're a coffee drinker, perfect spot for it. Plus, you have an actual tile backsplash. I don't know if that's picking up on the microphone. Let me get nice and close. That's not a sticker, folks. That's the real deal. And I, I like that they have those really small touches that just kind of show you, uh, you know, some of the just kind of, design elements and the attention to detail that they're putting in here. Storage all the way across the top, open that up for you again, just to kind of give you an idea of depth of, and again, storage all the way along the bottom. And you know, I mean, storage, storage, storage galore in this one, which again is why it's such a popular uh, floor plan, uh, such a popular fifth wheel. As we make our way up the steps, you can see your main control panels here. You'll have your tank monitoring panel, lights, awning, slides, everything. This also is Bluetooth capable. There's a film on here, by the way, that comes off in case you're wondering why it's all bubbled up. Um, but you can connect this to Bluetooth, which is great. Underneath your water heater here. Cool thing about this, folks, it is a tankless on-demand water heater, which means when we go in the bathroom and see the shower, you can spend all the time you want in there. You also have uh, your AC control here, max air fan, which is in the kitchen. Uh, so that way, you know, you quickly get any smells out, or if you just want some airflow without turning on the AC, that max air fan is a great way to go. And when we step into the, the bathroom here, man, oh man, it just keeps getting better. You have double vanities, oh, love that. Nice big mirror, how often do you get this? Almost never, very lacking. I like the fact you have a big mirror in here, great storage underneath. Porcelain bowl, as you would expect. Linen closet over to the side, tucked in right there. Our shower, of course, has a shower door, a nice decorative surround here. And that's six foot tall, as you'd expect in a fifth wheel. You got plenty of space here, folks, with that skylight. You have the matte black um, hand wand in there to make showering up just that much quicker and easier as well. And then when we make our way into the, uh, the primary bedroom here, we'll open this up. You can see right down below is our chest of drawers. Again, good storage. Open that up just to kind of show you the depth we're working with. Electrical outlet, and we have TV. One thing of note, so this one is already pre-wired for an inverter. So if you have that inverter installed, these outlets that have the sticker on there will work. You have a couple here in the bedroom, some out in the kitchen, basically at least one in uh, uh, nearly every room. And so if you have a TV in here, that means your TV can be inverted, which is pretty darn cool. Another thing you'll notice right up on the ceiling is second AC. This is a pretty decent size RV, right? It's not huge, not huge for a fifth wheel. Uh, but again, you get that second AC standard, making sure things are nice and cool. King size bed, love that. Storage underneath, as you would expect. You can take a look at that. And then you have the wedge pillow up front. Personally, I'm a fan. Is, is it the best looking thing in the world? Probably not, right? Like I'm sure you could have a headboard and some fancy pillows, but you can still get your own pillows and throw them up there. But do you know why I love it? because it's functional, right? I can sit here 
try not to get the uh, bedspread dirty. But now I can sit here, I can watch TV, I can sit up against this. It has a nice angle, so like I do get a little bit of lumbar support, which if you just have a headboard here, it's just, it's just not comfortable. That's not the case here, so I actually do enjoy having that. Uh, last couple things I want to touch on before we go outside, of course, our storage up front in the cap, as you'd expect. Shelf up top, hanging rod down below, and right over to the side is washer dryer prep. So if you do want washer dryer, you can put a combo unit right in there. All right, let's take a look at the outside features on the 2023 Eddie Bauer Signature 310 RL fifth wheel. We'll start right up front with our painted front cap. Of course, it's absolutely gorgeous. Love the big Eddie Bauer symbol on there. Plus, we have an LED light, and I like that it's continuous. A lot of times, you'll have just a few different spots where it breaks up, but here it runs all the way across. Plus, you have an additional light right here above the hitch, helping to light that up in case you are hooking up or disconnecting either early in the morning or a little bit later at night. Speaking of the hitch your kingpin here is the kurt rotaflex kingpin this does a great job uh essentially what this is it's a pivoting head so that way as you're starting or stopping your tow vehicle you don't get like that bucking and chucking that jerking motion it just gives you an overall much smoother tow going down the road if we take a look underneath we can see our uh, compartment here is open it's a magnetic catch as well and something that i really like that they do on the eddie bauer series is they have really good cable management you can see that everything is tucked away it's exactly where it should be. You don't have a bunch of wires just hanging out all over the place. You have your tire pressure monitoring system there, uh, your distribution box with your battery disconnect, and over to the side is the spare tire. So I also enjoy the fact that's mounted inside in the event that you have to get at it, which hopefully you never do, but if you do, you know that it's easy to get to. You also see your four-point electric auto level, so just touch a button and everything else will happen for you. Solar on the side, this one has a few different hookups for solar, one of them there in case you have like your briefcase or suitcase style solar, you can just plug it in there. We take a look at the basement storage, again magnetic catches, it is slam latch as well. We'll open that up to take a look inside and you can see how open this storage is. You have a ton of basement storage in this floor plan which is fantastic. Well, if we take a look way on the other side there, we can see our auto level. That's where that control is. And right here is our other solar control prep. So this one does have the prep on the roof. So again, like I said, a couple different options there for your solar prep. So we take a step back a little bit further. You can see this one has the more ride step above step system here. That gives you the aluminum treads, got a little bit of grip tape on there, the larger grab handle, so you have a little bit more control. These, of course, just fold up and in, super simple and operate, especially, this is like what I like to call the More Ride 2.0. So instead of having to pull a pin to adjust the legs, it's just a simple lever, super, super simple and easy to use. Also, your door here has keyless entry. That's a fantastic feature to have. A lot of times, you know, we'll see that on like higher end motorhomes, not super common on towables, so love to see it here. If we kind of take a step back, we can take a look at our awnings. That's right, awnings, plural, because you have two power awnings on here. One kind of over the main area, another one here on the slide, so it covers almost this entire campsite with awning coverage. And you can see the slide also has a slide out topper on there, and that, folks, is standard. So whether you want to just enjoy the shade or listen to some music with your outside speakers, you can certainly do that. Or if you want to watch TV, you have a hookup for it here as well. You can simply pop off the TV inside, hook it up right there, and you're good to go. I love the color package on here too, by the way, as well as the graphics. It's not like the swirls and swoops that we've seen for so many years. It's a lot more modern. And again, it has that Eddie Bauer signature green color in it. Coming around to the back, you can see right here is a rail for the griddle. And there's a propane quick connect right underneath for that griddle. But again, if you have you know, your favorite Blackstone or something you want to bring or Coleman grill, you can certainly do that as well. Uh, you have a ladder to climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Every Eddie Bauer signature product, whether it is the travel trailer or the fifth wheel, has a fully walkable roof. This is a 250-pound ladder, so you can climb up there. Another thing you will see that is standard is your backup camera. A lot of times manufacturers, manufacturers will put on a backup camera prep. Here with the Eddie Bauer signature, you actually get the camera as well. And then if you take a look right down below, 
This is not just an accessory hitch, you can actually tow with this. It's a 3,000 pound rated hitch with a flat four. So if your state allows it, if you wanna tow a boat or something behind there, you have the capability to do so. Otherwise, it does work well as an accessory hitch if you have like a big bike rack or something like that, you wanna slide in there. Coming around to the side here, you'll see our fresh water inlet will be tucked right next door to our 50 amp detachable power cord there course 50 amp because we're going to have two ACs on this unit as well as the fireplace that we saw inside. Make a ramp a little bit further. A couple things. We have the furnace here right next to the tankless water heater that I mentioned when we were inside. And if we drop down, we can see the terminations right there. Just as a note, the valves are tucked away. They are insulated in that heated and insulated underbelly. And then lastly, we have our convenience center located uh, right up here. This has everything else for our water connections, our city water. You can see uh, black and gray tank dumps here, as well as black tank flush, outside water, and water heater bypass valve is already built in. All right, folks, and there you have it. It's a modern take on a classic floor plan. You have clean aesthetic and design combined with a quality build. And again, this 2023 Eddie Bauer Signature 310 RL is a great length and weight. So if you're interested in this beauty and you would like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and until next time, we'll see you.